Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have an urgent prayer request to bring to you again. Today is Thursday, February 13th, and it's 10, 17 a.m. This one is from Morella again. Now listen to this. She's in Ecuador. Her ex is in America. He's been battling her to not have to pay child support. Okay. He's friends with the judge. Okay, so think of that now. Hi, family. On top of all our other needs, something really weird happened today. I went with Candy. That's a new friend she met. It's also from America, but she's fixing to come back. So she won't have her there for very long. A couple days, I think longer she said I went with candy to have a fruit salad in the morning in a restaurant and noticed there was a weird guy around dressed in black clothes and then when we came back that guy appeared at candy's door saying he is looking for Christina see her name is Morella Christina Dumitrascu and she prefers to go by Christina and I went out to see what is going on and he said you are not the woman I am looking for I told him how do you know my name and who are you he did not answer and slided away now remember, English is not her first language, but she does very, very well with it. All about him was super creepy. Candy asked him who sent him here, and he never answered. Then I was just talking to her now, and who knows what that creep is after. Maybe me or the boys. You know there are Satanists around looking for children to steal and mutilate them or pervert them or whatever. Maybe he asked around about me and found out I am a single mom. So maybe he thinks no one will protect my sons if anything happens. I will need to walk my sons to school and back from now on. Problem being, how do we protect ourselves at night? Let me just stop this right now while I'm thinking about it. If you can afford it, if they have it down there, you go to a store that sells, the best is Bengal, B-E-N-G-A-L, wasp spray. It has a long shot so you can stand far away. And look, you can get, get the boys behind you and shoot that right straight at their faces and I promise you they'll run. If they don't have Bengal, you ask the man for the best wasp killer he's got if you can afford it. Here in the States, it's $10 or was. That was a long time ago. Could be 15 now. But it's cheaper than a gun, and you don't have to kill anybody, but they'll run. Now, will they come back? Well, you at least can call the police, and I don't know what kind of protection they'll offer. Well, we're just going to pray that God, the Father Almighty, will be all the protection you need, and all the angels around you, and the fire, heavenly Holy Spirit fire around them. Perhaps that that should be enough, but that's in the spiritual. So let me move on with the letter. Here she says, how do we protect ourselves at night? Somebody can easily break in. 
in silence and steal them. They sleep in another room because I often wake up at night to watch videos or read the Bible if I can't sleep. I would wake my sons up too. Seems like if someone broke in, you'd hear them. You'd be up quick as a jackrabbit or whatever the expression is. But then if they are there, can someone steal them while they are asleep? Or put some of that scopolamine in their noses and then they will turn into obedient zombies and go wherever willingly? I've heard of that, scopolamine. I did not know it was a drug used by people for that. But anyway, moving on. Please pray for us, family. It is too much wickedness in this world. Our very bodies are targeted. Candy was super worried and said I should move. Problem being, how, where? Pray about all this. Super creepy. It makes even a day here too painfully painful, so to speak. Pray to Father he takes us out before temptations exceed our strength and that whatever the wicked want for us returns upon their own heads. We did no harm to anyone and I just think this is a creepy attack from the liar and murderer from the beginning. Okay, and that was the end of it. So, Heavenly Father, I ask you right now, with your almighty power to surround this family, their home, their very bodies, every single minute of every single day, and let whatever it takes distract these men from reaching their goal every single time. Whatever you have happen, let a snake get in their way. Let, a, let them twist their ankle getting trying to go there. Let them be heard before they get to the house. Protect Morella Christina and her boys, David and Timothy. Whatever it takes, Father, I ask you to protect them. In Jesus' precious and holy name I pray. Amen and amen. Please, y'all, keep them in your prayers. This doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound good. It sounds pretty evil. They're up to no good. Whether Lonell, her ex-husband, sent them or whether they're just locals. I'm interested to know how they sounded when you, when they, when you asked them what did they want and they said you're not the woman we're looking for. They might have been lying. But what was their accent like? Did they sound like locals or did they sound American? I guess it doesn't really matter. The Lord Jesus Christ and His Heavenly Father can protect you no matter if they're from Mars, if you know what I mean. Okay, everybody, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over my computer and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections so that we can stay connected. Let us keep them in our prayers. Let us keep each other in our prayers. None of us know what's behind the next corner. We go down the street, could be waiting. None of us know the evil that lurks about, that 
lurks about waiting to try to tempt us into something we shouldn't do? Let us keep each other in our prayers. But mostly for this reason, for this video, I'm asking you to keep Marella and Timothy and David in your prayers. Thank you very much. God bless each and every one of you. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.